Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Mystic Rose and it's so nice to have you here with me today. Today's tarot pick a card topic is gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be very in depth and all about your energy. What does your energy tell other people about you? So there will be three different piles to choose from. You can choose based on gemstones or images or some combination of the two. The choice is yours. All you have to do is go to the timestamps below in order to make your selection. If you feel drawn to more than one pile, there may be a specific reason for it. There may be multiple messages in there for each of the piles that you are drawn to. So definitely feel free to watch however many you feel drawn to. And if you start to watch pile and it doesn't seem to resonate with you, it's okay to go back to the beginning and choose again because these are general readings and lots of people watch them. So sometimes you can choose the wrong pile. It does happen. So just keep those things in mind, okay? As always, take what you like and leave the rest. If you're watching and you like the video, please remember to hit that like button and leave me a comment. Those are great ways to show support for the channel and to give me as the reader feedback and just letting me know if it resonates with you and also if you enjoy this type of topic is going to be so essential for me as a reader to be able to know that. All right, so please keep that in mind. Well, one more thing before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone for being here. Because of you and your support with this channel, I am able to do this type of work and I truly do appreciate you all. Especially thank you to my channel members who monetarily support this channel. I really appreciate you. Thank you to all of you who have been donating and also booking personal readings with me. And thank you so much to my Patreon members. If you're interested in supporting the channel or becoming a Patreon member or a channel member, go ahead and look in the description box below for more information. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get started with today's tarot, pick a card reading, all about what is your energy telling others about you. Hello and welcome to your gemstone selection. For pile one, we have Argonite. For pile two, Green Aventurine. And for pile three, Goldstone. Today's reading is going to be all about what does your energy tell other people about you? Whenever you're ready, Let's go ahead and get started. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome. If you chose image one or Argonite, you're in the right place for today's tarot pick a card reading. We're going to be looking into the topic of what does your energy tell others about you. So I'm going to be using the Hidden Truth and the Cozy Witch Tarot. Should be fun. It's a whimsical deck and I really like it. I like the illustrations. So I'm just going to clear the energy and then we can begin. I'll connect with spirit. We can begin. Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my Pile 1 collective about the questions at hand. Spirit, speak through me as you always do. And please bring in light, peace, positivity, and protection. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so I'm also going to be using um, some cards that I made. All right. And whatever other modalities that spirit calls me to use, I will be doing, um, the top row is going to be how do strangers view you based on your energy. 
And the middle row will be how do people you know view you based on your energy. And then the third row will be what does your energy really say about you? Okay? So it should be really fun and very, very in-depth. So I just like to shuffle until I get a tingling sensation in my solar plexus area. And then I know that it's time to stop. Okay. So this is all about... So I'm going to put these face down, I think. Okay? Like this. So this will be... How do strangers view you? Oops, I'm gonna put them face down. Okay, and then this is gonna be, how do people that you know view you? And this one will be, what does your energy really say about you? Okay. And then, um, I'm also going to use the hidden truth. So how do strangers view them, spirit? And how do the people that they know view them, spirit? Okay, and then what does their energy really say about them, spirit? Okay, and then I'm going to do one of these as well for each. So how do strangers view them, spirit? Whoa. All right, so put that here with the top row and then here and then... Here. Okay, so this is how, first the, First, we'll get into the top row. I may have to do some shifting around. I don't have a very big workspace area here. Um, oh, my camera just, my camera just went blurry a little bit. Hold on while I fix this, okay? Okay, I just had to fix that because my camera was getting blurry. But anyway, I'm just going to shift these down and I will work with the top row first, okay? trying to make it all fit here in this small area okay so this is for how strangers view you we have the six of pentacles it says every blessing you give will eventually be returned to you We also have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this so far for you, my pile one. Oh my gosh. People see you as very giving. They think that you could be wealthy. They look at you. They look, you kind of, people that even, you know, they don't know you. They just kind of assume that you look wealthy because of the, all the pentacles I'm seeing here. And also it looks like um, strangers view you as somebody who has a lot of options and choices at your fingertips. It looks like you could have whatever you want. With the Seven of Cups, you have a lot of great options presented to you. And um, strangers view you as somebody who is just really um, classy, is what I'm sensing here. You have very classy vibes. Everything you wear, like you just look very well put together. And your the, the clothing that you wear, it looks like quality items. Everything just kind of looks great. Like the fabrics. You know how you can get different fabrics? Okay, and some fabrics you just know when you look at them, they're cheap, right? And then sometimes you might find the most luxurious fabrics and, and they don't always cost a lot of money. But I think that you're really good at finding good quality fabrics. And you know how to accessorize too. And it's like, you know, everything looks like quality, quality, quality. That's what I'm seeing here. And that's how strangers view you. And they, they assume that you have enough money to donate to charities or that you're very, very giving and generous with your money with that Six of Pentacles. What else? All right, we have fun. And I have trouble with intimacy. Interesting. 
you almost have this like with strangers you look like you have a very fun personality and that you seem like somebody who's really enjoying yourself and because you almost look like you're rich or wealthy and having fun enjoying life like you're living it up people that that's how people view you people that don't know you they think that you're just a super wealthy person that's blessed you have like all the best things um but they may assume that because you're like this that you um maybe you're hard to get or like uh, because it says I have trouble with intimacy maybe they think or assume that like you're just about money or you're just about um and this this probably isn't true about you I'm just saying this is what strangers think when they see you that you're all about money or you're all about beautiful objects you're all about luxury things and they may think that um like when you're in a relationship that you have to have the most good looking partner you have to have the most beautiful home and you're just a bougie babe okay so and yeah they think you're fun but also they're not sure um if like where your heart is because they don't know you and all they can see is like your outsides and sometimes it looks like strangers kind of judge you okay just based on what they see but they they do see that you look like you're happy you're enjoying life um but you're so bougie and um up there you're like yeah people see you as like um higher than them or like somehow like in a higher echelon or like higher income bracket that's what just pe people must assume about you it could have to do with the clothes you're wearing too but also your um like your gracefulness the way you conduct yourself and you could even have some really nice, like, I'm seeing for some of my feminines out there, you got some nice quality handbags, like real leather. Um, it could be like the nice, you know, bougie brands, okay? Um, yeah, the, the purses that cost like hundreds of dollars. Anyways, or even, yeah, like Louis Vuitton, I'm even saying, like, you, you have... You have it together, my pal one. So that's what people, at least that's what they assume about you. That's how they view you. And that's just based on not only like your clothing and all that, but it's your energy. It's how you walk. It's how you present yourself. So it's like your vibes, your aura. There's something about you, but it also shows up with the way that you like walk and talk and take care of yourself with your clothing. It's all about your energy your looks are part of your energy, but it's that vibe. It's that almost like people may think that you have like an air of confidence, but it's like almost comes off as a little bit standoffish or s maybe snooty. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Some people may judge you about that until they really get to know you. And then let's see, I'll put these ones down here. This is going to be the truth of how you are. This one here is how your um, your friends and your family, your loved ones, who people that know you actually view you like this. Let's see. More pentacles. I'm not surprised. So, page of pentacles. Okay. Ten of wands. You're a hard worker. Your your friends and family know that you you do have quite a um, uh, a lot of money, or you you look like you're very responsible here. Um, you're great with detail you're practical you got a good head on your shoulders you're smart you're analytical you you're a great friend too three of cups you're a really great friend you're giving to your friends um time and energy and money if they needed it or anything that they would need you could really be a gift giver too that could be one of your um love languages is gift giving um your friends see you as family okay and you are very very non-judgmental um and I think that sometimes strangers, um, they, they get you wrong, okay? Because you actually have a huge heart and this is your energy. You're so nice. But I think people just may judge you um, right away just by like looking at you if they don't know you. They can assume because they may know other people that look like you or have a similar 
like look and vibe and they're just like oh that person reminds me of somebody else who's not very nice so maybe you know you're not very nice but you are Ex yeah exactly so you're you're very accepting you're actually very accepting of all different kinds of people it doesn't matter if the person um let's say they have a disability or they are um different than you in some way it doesn't matter to you like as long as somebody's like kind and nice you're very accepting and um very very giving as a person just overall a really sweetheart nice person and you do feel things on a very de deep level you know you're somebody who's very sensitive with this card here you're very very sensitive and your friends and family know that about you I think that your friends and family are seeing like you know the real you that's how they see you they they know you better than just the public who's just viewing you and they see somebody who's really sweet kind giving okay now let's see your true um what your real your energy really says about you what your energy is saying is that you do get very hurt easily by people more than you show you're very sensitive um also it looks like here tradition is important to you and also you have something to teach others you teach others by your example and you enjoy helping people and you're really strong you've some of you you might have even been a victim of bullying when you were younger or something or you might have had some um people that judged you really too harshly and that's just not fair and my heart goes out to you for that um but you you're like very strong as a person and now it's like you're using those things that you learned about yourself to actually build your confidence and help other people because you know what it's like to have people misunderstand you you know you've always been misunderstood it looks like here your whole life and people view you in a way that's not even really reflecting you and at the soul level and that is just that's quite a an incongruency that's quite a disparity there isn't it with how people strangers see you the people that really know you, they know that you're really a great person and you know that you are, but it kind of is hurtful, isn't it? That the public just kind of judges you or um, they can take your like air of confidence or like um, the fact that like you're happy with yourself as like, oh, you think you're too good. They can really misunderstand you and that's not good. You have a very feminine energy about you that does not mean you have to be a female to be watching this it just means that you're very nurturing these two are the real you what your friends think about you and and the real you that's that's really how you are you're very open um giving and also you receive um you're open to receiving and you know, there really is something to be said about your style, too, that people, like, there's no joke about it. You really do have a, a way, a wonderful way about accessorizing, whether it it's with your earrings, if you're a woman, or lipstick, even your, from your brows to your lips, and the way that your clothes fit your body in such a lovely way, you really do have a lot of, um, like feminine grace about you that stands out and you really know how to put things together yeah so you're the kind of person that um if you went to like I'm not saying you like a yard sale or something like that but if you were to go to a yard sale or a great big huge huge flea market or something like that where usually there may be a bunch of junk you'd be able to find at least one 
really good quality item. It's like finding a needle in a haystack, but you could do it. You're really, really good at picking out quality things. Like you're really, really good at knowing um, or like being able to tell like if something is real silver or if it's junk metal or like if something is real, you know, wool or fake. Okay. Like you, you, you know, counterfeits, you know, cheap stuff and you try to avoid it. Um, okay. It's just very, you, you have a lot of taste and flair for quality items, but I just think that's part of your love for beauty and quality things. It's nothing like you're trying to be better than anyone. You just really want to have um, beautiful things in your life. You could even have Libra in your chart somewhere prominently. Um, Libras love beautiful things, luxurious items. Tauruses do too. Tauruses are all about luxurious fabrics and things like that. You're also sentimental. It says, I saved your text and messages. You're a sentimental person. And things that people say to you really do hurt. You know, they, 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 um, they hurt deeply and you're very deeply sensitive. Some of you could have cancer in your sun, moon or ascendant too, um, or Pisces or even Scorpio. You get hurt very, very easily because of your sensitivity. Okay. So that is what your energy is saying about you. Let's go ahead and move into the um, next segment, okay? So the next segment is going to be um, Astro Dice, okay? And as well as... Um, yeah, I'm going to get this one too. Astro dice and letter tiles and that kind of thing. Channeling, okay? So spirit, please let me know the birthday, birth month, okay, for my pile one. We've got the number, number one and the number three and the number six, okay? And then we have Virgo, Leo... Sagittarius Cancer. You could have Cancer in your Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, Sagittarius, Leo, or Virgo in your Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, and then six, one, and three. That's ten when added together. June birthday, um, or the sixth of any month, a January birthday, or the first of any month, the third of any month, or a March, or yeah, March birthday. Specific birthdays would be June 6th, June 1st, June 9th, and June 10th. And then more specific birthdays would be January 1st, January 3rd, January 6th, and January 9th. And then March 1st, March 3rd, March 6th, and March 9th for birthdays, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can get some, a few names. Uh, I, I don't have to channel a lot of names, but I can do some here while I'm laying these letter tiles out. If I don't say your name, it's okay. Um, I might say a family member's name too, or a friend's name, just letting you know this is definitely your pile. Um, you can look for your initials in here, first, middle, or last name in the tiles, okay? And you can duplicate letters if you need to, and if everything's there except one letter, it still counts. This is for extra confirmation. I was hearing Naeem and Sasha, Zelda, Corey, Karina, Yasmin, Yasmina, Jazzy. Like, yeah, Jazzy. That's an interesting. I've never heard that name before. Lizzie, Arnold, that, that could even be somebody's last name, Farah, Isaiah, Isaac, Chelsea, yeah, 
Mike, Michaela, Mackenzie, Margaret, Kiara, Anna, Nona, Ryder, kind of like, okay, that's funny, kind of reminds me of Winona Ryder, your name could be Winona, Julie, Steph, Donald, Cindy, Macy, I like that name, Macy, Penny, Micah, Nika, Gracie, Gracie, Charlie, I was hearing Chad, too. Ladia. Vanish. Samir. Angel. Alexis. Valencia. Val. Valerie. Darren. Vera, Sierra, Celine, Selena, Dom, Darcy, Lacey, Kurt or Curtis, Okay, and Sean, Shan, Chandra, Shanda, and Crystal. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Let's see if we can get some charms. Spirit, what more can you add to this conversation? We have Saturn here. People think the world of you. We also have a rabbit. I'm going to look up the spiritual meaning of a rabbit, so I'm going to put that one aside. People think that you're smart. You're beautiful. You have a lot of beauty. You seem happy. You're very persistent. People view you as persistent, hardworking. You go after what you want. You seem like a loyal person. You're a problem solver. We have the sewing machine. It makes me think of fixing things or, you know, making repairs. You're a problem solver. We have Virgo. So that's just double confirmation on that Virgo and energy. Okay. So you could be uh, a Virgo in your sun, moon, or ascendant placement, or you could just have a lot of Virgo traits, you know, good with detail, practical matters and that come easy to you, smart, analytical. Okay. Some people, when they see you, they, um, they may think that you look scared or maybe a little nervous in public. I don't know, for some of you. I don't think that's going to be for everybody, but that could be going along with the misinterpretation. Or maybe you do get a little nervous in public, okay? 
I know I do sometimes. I even do sometimes in public, yeah. I used to more than I do now, but I, I used to quite a bit. Okay. Um, I wanted to look up the spiritual meaning of a rabbit to see what we can get there with that. So just give me a moment. Spiritual meaning of rabbit. It's for fertility and abundance, being shy, okay, sensitive, being very sensitive and intuitive, playful and curious, lucky and prosperous, and pure and innocent. Also, it just stands for like somebody who's very lucky. So that's, that is how people, that's pretty congruent too with how people are viewing you. You can also play a little fun spiritual scrabble in here and see what you can find. Okay. Um, have fun with it. Just see what you can see in here as far as words. All right. Um, like, for example, I'm seeing lash. You could have very beautiful lashes. Like, maybe you have very long lashes that are very beautiful and they really stand out. And people can't help but notice these beautiful lashes. Um, you could have green eyes or hazel eyes. All right. Um, what else, Spirit? Las Vegas. You could be from Las Vegas. I am seeing that. You could be from Washington, D.C. You could be from Nevada. Um, you could be into rock tumbling. Maybe you love rocks. Um, maybe you like to wire wrap jewelry. You could be into wire wrapping. So I'm seeing wire. You may like to collect things okay collect you may like collectibles um i was hearing vienna could be from vienna or milan 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 yeah that's what i was hearing milan okay i think that's in like italy or something like that Okay. I keep seeing an image of a circus. And one of those, like, people that does the trapeze artistry. It just kind of reminds me of somebody who's in really good shape and very flexible. People could see you as somebody who takes good care of their body. Because I keep seeing it. One of those trapeze artists. Usually in order to be a trapeze artist, you have to have, like, a really fit body. So that's just how people see you as somebody who like really takes good care of your body. Well, my pile one, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet already. It's a wonderful way to show that you support the channel and to help my channel grow. And please remember to turn on that notifications bell so that you can be notified whenever I release new videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, Thanks again so much for being here. Thank you to everyone for watching today's video. Please like this video. It's not a very big thing to ask, but it helps in so many ways because it helps to get my videos out. And um, I, would just, I would just love it if you could help me out. So also, if you need a personal reading, please know that I do, I do offer those and it's really a great way to connect. I love to connect with y'all. My prices are very, very affordable. Check out my description box below if you'd like more information about my personal readings or visit my website, www.mysticgrowthpsychic.com. You can find a link for that in my description box below. Also, if you'd like to join my Patreon, you can find more information in my description box below. I have five different tier levels, 
starting at as low as $3 a month. You can get weekly readings depending on which package you choose or which tier level. And I do two types of readings each, um, each week. And one is like a general pick a card and the other is 18 plus love uncensored readings. So those are the spicy fun ones. All right, if you're interested, please check out my description box below for more information. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. And you can find information in my description box below on how to do that. Also, um, if you'd like to become a channel member and support the channel, uh, you can find more info in the description box below. Thank you to all of my channel members. I truly appreciate your monetary support and thank you to all of you for hitting that like button again, commenting and all of, all of that really helps. Well, I hope you all take very good care and feel free to watch any other piles that you were drawn to because there could be multiple messages for you in there. And stay beautiful. And until next time, bye. Hello and welcome. If you chose image two or this lovely green adventure stone, you're in the right place. We're going to be looking into the topic of what does your energy say about you? I will be using the modern witch tarot deck. And I'll also be doing some confirmations toward the end of this reading. I'll be using astro dice and channeling and all of that fun stuff. So let me go ahead and connect with spirit and then we can start. Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile to collective all about the questions at hand. Spirit, speak through me, please, as you always do. And please bring in light, peace, positivity, and protection. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do three rows. The top row is going to be how do strangers view you based on your energy. The middle row is going to be um, how do people that you know view you. And the last row here is going to be all about what does your energy really say about you. Okay. So spirit, how do strangers view my pile too? In general, how do strangers view them? People that don't know them. I'll be putting them face down. Okay, and how do people that they know view them? Okay, and um, what are they really like? What does their energy really say about them? What is their energy really like, spirit? Okay. And also I'm going to, um, I'll be using these as well, getting one of these for each. So spirit, how do strangers view them based on their energy? And what is their energy really like? Okay. And one more. We're going to use the hidden truth. All right. So how do strangers view them? And spirit, how do people that they know view them? And what is their energy really like? Okay, this should be a lot of fun. So what does your energy tell you about others? Well, let's go ahead and we'll look at the top row first. This is going to be all about, let me move these down here, okay? I'll just move these down so that we can investigate the top row. So, so... How do you view, um, strangers view you? 
a little shy maybe okay now this may actually be how you feel in public or it may not be how you feel at all but this is just how others view you okay is maybe you're on the little bit of the quieter side when you're out in public so people could view you as a little bit shy it says i want you back we have the moon okay wondering if i need to cover this up all right oh youtube drives me crazy with their stipulations Okay, and then we have, let's see, Six of Cups and, yeah, YouTube doesn't even like booty, cr booty cracks. Oops. Okay, so we have the devil here. People see you, when they see you and they view you, they, they view you that your energy is um, intoxicating, but that you may be kind of picky, okay, with your, like, who you give your sensual energy to, you know? But they do definitely see you as, like, see how she's shy, but yet she's almost seductive to the way she's biting her finger and like looking at the camera and playing with her hair and like scrunching her hair all up you know she's in her sensual energy and she's just she's adorable and she knows it this is how people view you the public people that you don't know they think that boy you know people must get really stuck on you and addicted to your energy you have heartbreaker type of um, vibes with that I want you back it's like all of your exes they strangers just think that all of your exes um uh get stuck on you you're hard to get over and with the moon there people think that you have mysterious vibes about you and your energy too just kind of gives that addictive quality because we have the devil here and it's like yeah um I'm seeing that they are chained together it's like that feeling of um, not being able to break free, but also at the same time not wanting to because you have that addictive kind of quality about you that a lot of people crave and even strangers can sense it about you. It is in the way you look, but it's it's a lot of it is your aura and your magnetism and your in your energy field. And um some of some people from history, you know, there there were some people in history that weren't the most even the most good looking, you know, or like the most attractive person. Um, but they were super alluring just because of like their personality and the vibes that they were giving off. And um, that's kind of like, you know, I'm not saying that you're bad looking. I think you're good looking, but it's this is about your energy mostly. So you have that intoxicating energy that strangers just when it when you take that with your good looks it's like it's really intense but yeah um there it goes to show though um when you look back through history i want to say like it was cleopatra that if you if you look into the history of it she wasn't exactly like a 10 on a one to scale of 1 to 10 um with her beauty she was um good looking but um like I said not a 10 but her but her ability to get people wrapped around her finger was crazy <laughs> she was always just very dynamic she was always um dressing in these very glamorous clothing you know clothing articles and keeping things just always keeping people on their toes with her um like the things she would wear and yeah so it was more like the things that she did okay but her her actual beauty um i'll just show you like for instance here's how 
Cleopatra was is um kind of like portrayed in movies and this is closer to how she was in real life okay okay and that's just something that I learned um I like history I like to read about different things like that but um Cleopatra was intoxicating because and she did she had all kinds of men wrapped around her um her little finger um because of her energy and the way she could you know get people to be just like drawn to her okay and that's the that's the same kind of vibes you have very alluring very intoxicating vibes and then the people that know you boy the people that know you they've seen you transform they think you're very transformative they it's almost like too like your looks are always changing and somehow you're like a bottle of wine you just get better with age you're always surprising people the people that you know they're always stunned like how can you look so gorgeous every time you level up every single time you're always leveling up um I love this deck, but there's so many booty cracks that <laughs> it gets annoying um, that I have to keep covering them up. But anyways, it's a great deck. A lot of booty cracks. Anyway, so judgment with the four of swords. Okay, so this is how your friends actually view you. Let's keep going. Trustworthy. Your friends admire you. We got, I admire you. And trustworthy so your friends and family and loved ones they are drawn to you um, it's not because of the, the alluring sensuality though it's more like they see the real you and you're patient you're patient and willing to wait for good things you're patient enough to um, yeah wait for things and not rush things and then with with judgment here um I think that that means that too like you're non-judgmental you're very open and not only that but like you can captivate people's attention your loved ones your family members you can hold a conversation you can hold the attention during a conversation because I think that too like because of your ability to um, be interesting and to talk about a lot of different topics like I don't know if you read a lot or if you are scrolling through like you know different articles online or whatever but you seem to have like a breadth of knowledge and you always have an interesting um, thing to add to conversations that's what spirit is telling me and your your loved ones and people that know you they view your energy as like interesting you know um they view you as somebody who's effervescent and just a spark a fun spark of life individual and that you're you're very very um trustworthy that's they had your friends and loved ones and people that know you they actually find you to be somebody that they could go to to confide confide in if they ever needed anything okay so and it's funny too how like <laughs> it's funny too how like you have this you've had this pull on people it looks like your whole life um where people are just like magnetized to you or drawn to you and then you know how to keep people interested. I love that for you. That That's pretty cool. Let's see how your energy is really like. We have the Knight of Cups. The Seven of Swords. And we have the Three of Pentacles. Oh gosh, I got to cover that one up. And the three of pentacles okay well let's see what else we got quirky i love it oh my gosh and i won't let you down i love these cards oh my gosh so the real energy is that you are very much individualistic like 
you're not trying to be somebody you're not okay you're not trying to compare yourself to other people and 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 it's like you don't have to necessarily always fit in you could be very much a trendsetter type of person your quirkiness is cute and it's adorable and um and, it, and it's celebra uh, I would I want to say like celebratory it's like people want to celebrate your quirkiness and it's actually a good thing three of pentacles means too that like with your energy um you really do have like this kind of elevated presence about you and it has to do with your artistic sense and the way that you know how to uh like mix and match outfits and with your quirky sense I think that really does kind of uh encapsulate your energy because it's kind of like giving me Gemini or, or, you know, Gemini or air vibes, like air sign vibes. You could be that um, in your sun, moon, or ascendant, or just kind of have a lot of Gemini energy or Aquarius vibes too are coming through really strong here. But it's like you, you kind of like march to the beat of your own drum and you would never ever like break a promise or like if you did you would feel super bad about it that's what I'm getting to and um almost like to your energy is like with the knight of cups you have a lot of scorpionic energy or piscean energy or cancerian type of energy about you and I'm gonna get to this in a minute but you're very, like, your energy is that of somebody who's very loving and you're very romantic too. And you like relationships. You like a good, healthy relationship. You like to be in a relationship. And that is, you like to relate to others. And um, you may be very good at networking too. And with this one here, with your this is your energy with the seven of swords that can talk about somebody who has um, an upper hand in any kind of tricky situation so if you ever find yourself in a tricky situation usually you'll have the upper hand i think it's because you're very intelligent you know how to um like you know how to deal with difficult people i think that's one of your gifts you know how to navigate different personalities I think that's what makes you such a great networker I really do and also this can talk about having great discrimination when it comes to like or discretion you can have great discretion when it comes to like um I want to say like sniffing out if somebody is good like if they have good intentions or not you're pretty good about being able to um like use your discretion and find out kind of like by observing somebody or maybe it just takes one look and you can be like oh yeah no that person's no good or yes this person is okay like you can kind of like just intuitively know that okay um and also this this tells me that like you can be a cautious person with your energy you're cautious with um anything like you're super cautious because you don't want to get hurt which I don't blame you I can be the same way so I understand that but yeah you're very cautious in how you handle people and it's almost like too like you may be very very careful as to not offend people okay because you're it's not to say you're a people pleaser, but you do end up saying the right things that people like you and your words are, it's like they fall easy on the ears is what spirit is telling me. Um, and people really don't really get offended by you because you have a, your heart is in the right place, but you may still worry about like offending people or, you know, letting people down and you're just, you're a really sweet person. 
Yeah, um, your soul is very creative and your energy just has this creative vibe. And I think that this does come out in the way you dress. It just really does. You really are um, a spunky person. And your fashion sense really reflects that. But also, like, the faces you make, you know, um, you could enjoy taking selfies like this with your tongue out or whatever, <laughs> like, goofy faces and facial expressions. You could even wear glasses, okay? Um, but, yeah, it's just your kind of overall vibe. I think that you're very intelligent. You're people smart, okay? You know people. You could have studied psychology even. Um... Yeah, you're very intelligent. You have a lot of social intelligence too, Spirit is telling me. So, yeah, people, yeah, people can tell that. And that is really, that is how you are. That's what makes you so socially adept. You can, like, go with the flow and, like, read the room really well. That's what I'm getting too, is, like, you're really, really good at reading the room. And going with the flow and, yeah. But you're not really a people pleaser. But like I said, like, people end up really liking you. You're a likable person. Very, very likable. Your smile also disarms people is what I was hearing from spirit. You can diffuse any situation with a smile. Let's go ahead and get some confirmations. This is fun though. If you're enjoying this, please take a moment to uh, press that like button. Leave me a comment, please. And let me know if this is resonating with you and if you're enjoying it. And also if you could hit subscribe. Um, let's say you've been watching for a while, but you haven't subscribed yet. Or if you're new here, please do take a moment to hit subscribe. I would love to have you be part of this community. All right, um, we have Aquarius, Aries, Libra, and Leo. We have 10 and 10 and 5. So that could be for when added together 25, the 25th of any month, the 10th of any month, the 20th of any month, or the 15th of any month for a birthday. Specific birthdays we have are October birthdays here and May birthdays. We also have specific birthdays coming through. Um... May 5th, May 10th, May 20th, and May 25th, and October 5th, October 15th, October 10th, October 20th, and October 25th for birthdays or any day in October for a birthday, okay? Now, um, I think I will just put out the letter tiles and then we'll do a few charms and we'll see if I can get your name, or first, middle, or last name. Or maybe some family members or friends' names just for added confirmation. Like if you hear me saying your friends or family ne members' names, you know, that's just extra confirmation. If you don't hear your name or anything like that, just look for your name or initials in the letter tiles. And um, you can duplicate letters if you need to. And... Uh, if everything's there except one letter, it still counts. Um, I am hearing Leo or Leonard, Leonardo, Saul, Keegan, Tennyson. That could be like a last name. Tyson, Jericho, Jamie, Justin. Rodriguez, Rodriguez, Sally, Chalet, I've never heard that name, but I was getting that, Chalet, Shelly, Shelby, um, I'm hearing a name I've never heard before, Andu, I've never heard that name, sounds like a cool name. Rita, Rishon, Mindy, Brandy, 
Brit. John. Ellen. Derek, Marnie, Luigi, Vincent, or Vinny, Jeremy, Jamiroquay, Julio, Santiago, Sue, Sue Ellen, Alana, Elaine, Sky, Skyler, Kiefer, Guntry or Guntry. Scott, Sarah, Jennifer, I was hearing Queenie. Aisha, I was hearing Somalia. Somebody could be from Somalia. Martin, that could even be a last name. Xavier. Jackson. Or Jack. Hmm. Thomas. Nadia, Allegra, Ezekiel, um, Flora, Annette, Danette, Babs and Felicity, Paulette, Paula, Paul, Cherie or Charisse, Lucretia, and Zachariah or Zach. Okay. And then we can do some charms here. You can also play spiritual scrabble and see what words you can see in there. Spirit, can you help to add to this conversation about what does their energy tell others about them? hypnotic energy you look very abundant we have 888 I am abundant you look abundant you could wear different hats too that makes you look very stylish all right you accessorize really well people like that about you they see you have style and flair and a fun a fun fun personality some people are jealous of you, though, because we have jealousy. 
Some people get mad about that. Uh oh. People get mad about how you look because you look. It's like also your energy. It's too powerful. It's maybe too lusty. Like I said in the beginning, this is how strangers are viewing you. Um, is that you're too maybe you your energy is a little too magnetic or hypnotizing. They may you know they may worry that like their partner is hypnotized by you. You know if this is like other jealous like if you're a woman this could be other jealous women that are jealous of you okay um we have royal vibes people view you as like a, a princess or prince okay princely vibes princess we have hellish yeah some people are they're just really super jealous of you you probably had some encounters with people that made you roll your eyes i wouldn't be surprised stay trippy you know, I think you have the out-of-this-world vibes. This is a little, like, UFO. And then what we have here? Love you. Love and a mist. You puzzle me. All right. So you people can't figure you out. Love and a mist. They, people can fall in love with you easily, and they can't figure that out. Like, how did I go and fall in love with them? Like, you get people falling in love with you that don't even, they're not even available for love or people that go falling in love with you when they're not even trying to and they're just like why am I so pulled to this person why am I feeling like I'm in love and I think that can frustrate people a lot too sugar I'm hearing that sugar sugar on my tongue oh my gosh who sings that song um that song could really encapsulate your energy sugar 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 on my tongue you really do captivate people um let's see who that's by it's by the talking heads sugar on my tongue wow people they just it's like they see you and they just they want you yeah, you may want to listen to that one. All right, let's see what else. I'm seeing view. Um, I'm seeing view, and I heard, in my mind, I heard nice view. It's like people like to look at you. They like to watch you. You may get a lot of people, people watching you staring at you literally staring i see stare they stare at you in public that might be very annoying <laughs> okay you could have people approaching you that you really don't want them to approach you okay you may be getting like unwarranted attention you could attract jealous friends people that are not good people okay yeah people that are envious of you um i was hearing some of you somebody here could be into video games or even um doing little anime anime drawings okay i'm seeing little anime drawings it's so cute so you might do these for some of you um and also i was definitely picking up on new york city somebody here collects little tiny things they're like miniatures i don't know what these are but they're the most cutest little things they're like little miniatures I've seen they could they almost look like those little erasers but they're little miniature things okay let me know if that is you or if this is applying to you um also somebody here may like to um read books quite a bit and i don't know what flow arts is but i was hearing flow arts what is that what is flow arts? Let me see. Flow arts. Is that a thing? Flow arts. It is a thing. It's flow arts is a general term used to describe the intersection of a variety of movement based 
disciplines including dance juggling fire spinning and object manipulation that is so cool so flow arts hula hooping juggling oh my gosh that's so cool contact juggling and fun dance oh wow you can use props and expressions so that's so cool so some of you may be into flow arts oh that's neat that's neat thank you spirit for that that's so cool some of you could be really into philosophy here and i just heard the name suzanne or susanna also louisiana somebody here could be from louisiana Ariel, the name Ariel, like the Little Mermaid, Ariel. Um, Samantha, the name Samantha, I just heard that too. Makes me almost, I've seen like mermaids in my mind, so you could really like mermaids. All right, that's what I'm getting here. I hope this resonated. If it did, please be sure to uh, subscribe and comment and like this video. All those things really help my channel to continue to grow. If you'd like a personal reading, I do personal readings. For more information about that, just look in my description box below or visit my website, www.mysticrosepsychic.com. Um, if you would like to join my Patreon, you can find more information in my description box below about that as well. I do have fantastic price packages on there starting at as low as $3 a month and it goes up from there, but I do weekly tarot pick a card readings on there of general topics and spicy topics, 18 plus uncensored love readings. So definitely be sure to check it out. Um, the most recent ones I did on there was your life one year from now, what will it be like? And the spicy one was what turns them on about you. So just as an example of, uh, what way, what I have put on there this week. Okay. Um, if you'd like to donate to the channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. And you can find more information on how to do that in the description box below. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. I hope you take good care. Feel free to watch as many piles as you're drawn to. Love and light. Bye. Hello and welcome, my Plow 3 Collective. If you chose Image 3 or Goldstone, you're in the right place. I love this Goldstone gemstone. It's so pretty. So, good choice. Um... I'm going to be lighting some sage here so I can cleanse the space and then I'm going to connect with spirit. Okay. Um, so spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile three collective. All about the questions at hand. Spirit, please speak through me as you always do. Please bring in light, peace, positivity, and protection into this space. Thank you, spirit. We're going to be looking into the top row is going to be how do strangers view you based on your energy. And then the middle row is going to be how do people that you know view you based on your energy. And then the next row, row three, will be what does your energy really say about you, okay? So it'll be very, very, I, I want to say enlightening because it's going to have a lot of information. Not only that, at the end, I'm going to be doing confirmation, so... Um, that's always a lot of fun. I'll be using Astro Dice and name channeling and letter tiles for those of you who enjoy. Um, if you haven't yet hit subscribe, please take a moment to do so. Um, as that will really help my channel. And not only that, um, that way if you like this type of reading, you'll be able to see more of it. So this top row, as I said, is going to be all about how strangers view you. This next row is going to be all about the people that you know, how do they view you? And this row is going to be how your energy really is. I'm also going to be using the hidden truth. And 
I'm also going to be using a deck that I made So this should be a lot of fun. Um, so I'm going to just move these down here a little bit out of the way so we can start with focusing on that top row. All about how strangers view you, okay, based on your energy. The energy that you are giving off. So we've got powerful. I can't be with you. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's almost like you have um, an intimidating vibe about you where people, strangers may view you as somebody who's got really high standards. Um, it's almost like too that you, you could be intimidating with your presence because you have such a powerful presence about you. And strangers just, I mean, look at her. Doesn't she look very enticing with her eyes and that look she's given the camera? It's like she just draws you right in. And the red all around her is so passion filled. Um, people find you to be very, very alluring, yeah, magnetic, um, highly, highly sensual with your mystique and your energy. <clears throat> Some people, yeah, they're intimidated. They think, well, what? I don't even know if I should dare try to be with that person romantically because I don't even know if I'm at their level, you know. Then we have the chariot. The chariot in this position can talk about that you look like somebody that is very well balanced. Not only that, you look like somebody who is a mover and a shaker. You've got plans. You're going places. You're goal-driven. You're goal-oriented. And you're on your way. You're on your path to success. Knight of Wands, you are creative. People that don't even know you can tell that about you. They can just kind of like look at you and be like, now there's somebody who is a go-getter. There's somebody who goes after what they want. Um, they can tell that you you just have that, um, I want to say that like, that zest, that, that it's almost like a, a, a veracity, a passion, you know, for uh, like a lust for life. Okay. You're a hard worker. People can tell that. They can tell that like you put effort into everything you do. Even strangers can tell that. Everything you do is like it it's like you're not a slacker with your style. You're not a slacker with your makeup. If you're doing your makeup or your hair, you're not a slacker. You strangers can tell that like you really put a lot of effort into your looks and it really shows too. Um uh, yeah, so it, it's just, it's one of those things with, with the Knight of Wands there being in the, the, at the very center here for how strangers view you. They view you as physically attractive because the wands are extremely attractive in the um, tarot, the tarot deck. The wands are very, very attractive. So people can't help but notice that about you. But it's like your energy too, it matches it. You have an alluring energy. Um, it's something about you is captivating and powerful and seduces people and like brings them in. Okay. And, um, it's very, it's almost like you've given, you're giving me baddie vibes. Okay. Like, doesn't she kind of look like a badass? Like she's got her little cute jacket on with the, the moons, the leather, black leather. And she just looks like such a, almost like a spiritual badass. I love it. She's got the uh, little wand in her hand. She's making stuff happen. I love it. I love it. You could have some fierce vibes that people, or at least that's how strangers view you. You know, maybe you don't even feel like this, but this is how strangers view your presence. It's like you show up and you command the presence. It's not that you're demanding what you command the presence. So it's like, you know, everybody can look at you because you get the attention. It's your aura. It's your, it's your qualities about you that really bring people in and they it makes them inquisitive that's what I was hearing like it makes them wonder about you more about you how can they be like you why are you so darn dreamy like how how did you even get like this like who are your parents like were they like some of the most beautiful people on the earth like 
people like wonder about this about you because of your physical beauty um and also that magnetic aura that you have and your energy it just it's oozing all this appeal okay all this sensual appeal the sensuality it's it's a lot it's intense i'm not gonna like deny that you're you're very intense with your um i was gonna say with your majesty it's almost like majestic your vibes i know that sounds like so over the top but like that's what i'm really getting here lots of lots of um seductive very highly seductive qualities about you and because of that effort that you're putting in it's really paying off for you and strangers are noticing that about you but yeah you could be one tough cookie and like nobody to mess with that's how strangers kind of view you like wow <laughs> kind of like one of those you know you're one of those people that strangers view as like okay don't piss this person off don't get in their way they're on a mission they got things to do um so that's just how yeah that's how strangers view you now let's see how your closest family and loved ones and people that know you view you okay tough oh my gosh my pile two i can't make it up um it's almost like your friends and your family members and people that know you they know you're tough like they know you're you're a baddie <laughs> i love that you are one tough cookie you're strong nobody it's like your friends and family they don't want to piss you off they know not to piss you off or make you angry because even if you're not gonna be like in their face you know how to almost like get your point across that you're um not happy okay and you can advocate for yourself you can you are like you can be an advocate for anybody who needs you know who needs a voice and uh you're not afraid you're just unabashedly yourself and you're not afraid so i love that i love that about you your friends and your family member and your closest loved ones and people that know you view you that way it says i can't reach out knight of pentacles two of cups and queen of wands oh my gosh so you got a lot of wands energy here notice up here we had the knight of wands now we have the queen of wands so you, the people that know you are in agreement. your your looks and your vibes your aura is all very very attractive and um part of that is the people that know you find you to be so loving you know with the two of cups you're very very loving and um you're almost like the best of both worlds too because here you got the pentacles and you're very connected with the earth and the heavens so you know you're very spiritually connected and people that really know you they view you as such and it's almost like too that people they want to talk to you the friends and family members that you know that love you they want to always like get your opinion on things um because you always seem to know what to say but it could be too that some of your friends and family members may feel like with um like with your energy that you may prefer to like somewhat like be alone or in small groups so maybe they don't want to um bother you there could be that sense of like they don't want to bother you or interrupt you you're a hard worker you work hard you want to work hard play hard and relax when you want to relax you want to fully relax um and you're and you're working on your body too like it looks like here like the people that know you they know that you just have the energy of somebody who's taking care of business and taking care of yourself so it's all about like time allocation and do you have time for people um and some people they they may feel a little bit guilty to ask you for your time because your friends and family members may feel like you you kind of spread yourself thin like especially let's say you're a single mom and you've got kids and you've got to go to work and you have to work out and you've got to cook dinner and you've got to clean your house and you have all this stuff you have to do i mean it doesn't doesn't have to be necessarily the case for you but for some of you i'm definitely picking up on that that you're a powerhouse doing it all okay um yeah somewhat similar of that type of energy or vibe like you're doing a lot of different things lots and lots of things going on multitasking and such and it's like you look great when you're doing all this stuff too but yeah no people just and that's just as a side note but like your energy is that of like somewhat of like a, a busy body or somebody who's always stepping up to the plate doing what you need to do and yeah so it's almost like the public the way they see you it's somewhat right 
but you're actually a lot more um receptive and responsive to people than what they actually judge you to be and you're very loving you like a good exchange between people especially if they're like just nice kind people you like to have a good exchange or conversation between um people even if they're very different from you like you don't mind you like to have that kind of conversation that's just your energy that's just who you are you have an openness about you you're friendly to animals you're friendly to people um you have i i just got to say this because i i i can't help but notice that this woman reminds me of lana del rey and i love lana del rey she's one of my absolute favorites um if you don't know who that is please check her out in the song um born to die uh she's so majestic and talk about ma majesty like that's the kind of vibes you're giving off here and lana del rey has come across come out in some of my other readings probably because i love her so much she's like she's iconic um she definitely has like this regality about her and in one of her videos called born to die she's sitting there on a throne like this with uh like a lion or a tiger or something right by her i think it's a tiger and that looks so much like her um it's kind of crazy but yeah you if you watch that video that's kind of like the vibes you're giving off with your energy it's kind of like this confidence this this extremely tough kind of um you can handle anything kind of vibes okay and your friends and and people that know you view you this way let's find out like you know your real true energy here how is what is your energy really like you are strong i can't make this up you really are strong you're somebody who has a lot of um strength and countenance about you you can get through anything we have the lovers and the eight of cups so i've got to cover up this little booty crack um as youtube does not allow me to show things like that but that's okay i'll just cover that up yeah so you can basically get the picture here though with the lovers that can talk about gemini energy as well because it, it can talk about that um uh okay so what i want to say about this is your real energy is that of that you really are strong and you you will walk away from people that are uh, bullshitting you or not being authentic with you because we have the eight of cups there um so there is sort of an intimidating quality about you um just because yeah um if people do try to mess with you you really are not going to tolerate it people really are addicted to your energy um it says i can't get enough of you and your energy is really quite um there's something so about it it's almost like people just can't get enough of it even though there may be like a little bit of a oh i could possibly get um my feelings hurt or pos possibly this person may end up walking away from me but i gotta give it a try there's some people that will risk everything just to to get it to get to have the chance to know you because your energy is so like so powerful it does draw people in and then we have graceful so actually you are <clears throat> quite quite a, a tough cookie but you're also very graceful and that's the thing about your energy that some people might not know you have a very soft or feminine type of side to you and you may appear on the outside as you know kind of rough and tough and stuff like that but like your real your energy really with within you you're more like a softy. <laughs> I love that though. You kind of are a combination. You can be tough, but you're a softy. You have a heart of gold. You're you can feel things deeply. That's the thing about you. Um, you're strong, and that sh you could even be a Cancerian um, with that hard outer shell that Cancers have. Um, cancer crabs can be very protective of like that um, of themselves like that. They can like wear that hard outer shell as like a layer of protective um energy so that people don't see um like the true vulnerabilities that reside within so you could have um cancer somewhere and you're prominently in your chart like your sun moon or ascendant um for instance or even leo because strength is um uh also indicative of leo energy we have that lion there she's taming this beast it's almost like to like your energy you can really like um tame the beast like you can what I mean by that is like with difficult people that like come up to you and you and you encounter them 
you can tame people by just like you can make people settle down you know how to like settle settle people down if people are upset you can um i want to say you can be like a mediator for people you would make one hell of a good lawyer okay you also would be a great um i want to say like counselor or even social worker or advocate because you have that quality about you where you really will um, stand up for what is right and for um, a just cause, okay? And uh, I see you as somebody here with your energy as being very loving and giving and serving. So you could do well to thrive in some sort of a service profession, service-oriented profession, okay? So now what I'd like to do is I would like to get into our confirmation segment. I will be rolling the astro dice. I'll be getting more messages and I might even say some names, okay? Or maybe even your location. This is going to be fun. Um, remember that if you're watching and you're really enjoying this, please be sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. All right. I only ask that because I really love reading tarot for you all and i want to continue to do it for a long time and so i need your help to support the channel so anything that you can do by pressing that like button or leaving a comment or subscribing and keep coming back and viewing my videos that would be awesome thank you so much all right so spirit please let us know either the birthday or birth month of the person who is viewing this video or their sun moon or ascendant sign we have virgo cancer leo taurus you could have one of those in your sun moon or ascendant position so again virgo cancer leo or taurus and then we have the number three the number six and the number nine so when added together is 18 okay so that could be for the 18th of any month for a birthday the 9th of any month for a birthday the 6th of any month for a birthday or the 3rd of any month for a birthday this could also be talking about a march birthday a june birthday or a september birthday okay specific birthdays would be september 15th september 9th september 3rd september 6th also, we have June 3rd, June 9th, June 6th, June 15th. And then we have March 3rd, March 6th, March 9th, March 15th for birthdays, okay? Let's go ahead and um, get some letter tiles. I will be channeling some names. Um, I did do that for piles one and two, so I'll do that for you too. I was hearing Roxanne right away, which is funny. Um, I don't think I've ever had that name come through, but that was coming through loud and clear. So your name might be Roxanne. That could even be a family member. Um, sometimes I do say family members or friends' names. That's just Spirit's way of getting your attention and confirming that this is definitely your pile. I was also hearing Javier, all right, and Carlita. I love that name, Carlita, such a pretty name. Arnie. Uh, Tony, Antonio, Sonia, Suni. I also wanted to say that um, if you see everything in here except one letter, it still counts for a name. And if, and if you need to duplicate letters, you can. And also, I wanted to say that um, I'm putting the duplicates to the side here because I always do that. Makes it a little bit easier that way. So we don't get a whole bunch of duplicates. And you can look for your initials too, or your name spelled out in case I don't say it, because I may not say it. So, all right, so more names, um, Cecile, Chloe, Connor, oh, we already have an N, Wendy, Schuler, that could even be a last name. Daisy, Daniela, Foley, 
Fulton. Portland. You could be from Portland. Portland, Oregon. Patricia. Jerusha. Marcy. Marcella. Karen. Shiala. Estelle. Weston Elliot. Easton, Owen, Sabine, Tito, that's an interesting name, Tito, Safir, Clinton, Willow, Bonnie, Linda, Lionel, Sapphire, Courtney, Lexi, Sunny, Roberta, Ramona, Melissa, I'm hearing an interesting name. I'm hearing Abrian. I've never heard that name before, but I was hearing Abrian. And that's a really pretty name. That's a cool name. Also, I was hearing Aubrina. That's a pretty name too. Aubrey and Audrey. Fiona. Bob and Bill. Jameson. Mikel or Michael, Michelle, I'm hearing Michalina, that's a cool name, Michalina, I, I don't think I've ever heard that name before, interesting, Safe, somebody here could have been a ballerina, or you are a ballerina right now, I was, I was hearing like, pirouette and all these ballet terms somebody here could have been a even like a, ch a cheer cheerleader or something um i also was hearing wisconsin and <clears throat> verona manchester i'm not sure where that would be but i heard manchester Colleen, Colina, Safari, that could be somebody's name or that could be like, you could be planning a safari or a trip or something like that. Maybe you're going to um, Africa on a safari or something like that. Somebody here could write poetry. I am seeing sonnet. You could write or love to read poetry. Zamir and uh, Nazir are also here. Felix. I'm definitely seeing Felix in the tiles. V 
Vernon. Edgerton. That could be like somebody's last name. Neil and Niles. Elon. Clint. Clarence. Bo or Beauregard. Gentry. T. Tegan. Tiana. Names that start with T. That's what I was hearing. Like Tiana, Tegan. What else? Tila. Ooh, I love that name. Tila. I've never heard that name. Tila. I've heard of Tyla, the singer, but I've never heard of Tila. I like that. And Sheena. Sheena. Okay. I I could keep going with with that for a long time, but I I'll, I'll stop there. Okay. You can continue to play a little spiritual scrabble and and see what you can get, but I'm just going to randomly draw some of these out, see what we got here, okay? For as far as charms so we can add to the conversation. Okay. So we've got Take it easy. In some ways people kind of do like feel like you can take it easy or uh, people that don't know you, they may think that you got the easy life and that you have out of this world vibes. We had that in pile two as well. If you were drawn to pile two, I would say definitely, I've been seeing a connection between piles two and three. So if you were, if you were drawn to pile two, I would say, check it out. Ah, we got the kitty cat. People see you as independent, lovable, yeah, just very independent, though. You have a calmness about you. We've got the little uh, Buddha, okay? I dropped one of my charms. I don't know where it went. I'll find it later when I vacuum. <laughs> it went somewhere. I don't know. And then we have Crush. Oh, wow. Um, people do crush on you. We got the Buddha, and look, we also have Zen. And then we also have the, um, like, the, the collared shirt here. So, yeah, it's almost like, too, that uh, people kind of see you as a nice dresser. The way you dress is very nice. You could be dress dressing, the way you dress your body and adorn your body is very nice. But, yeah, people crush on you easily. They fall in love with you. <laughs> Oh, I don't know where the other charm went, but I definitely lost it somewhere when I dropped it. But anyways, um, yeah, you can, you can play spiritual Scrabble. Like for instance, I'm seeing, um, Connecticut in here. You could be from Connecticut, Delaware, Dubai. I don't know what this is. I was hearing Antigua. Is that a place? What is Antigua? That makes me feel like I should look that up. I don't know what that means. Sometimes I get stuff and I don't know what it means. Let me see. Antigua. And then it's fun to look it up too and be like, what is that? <laughs> Antigua. I'm not even sure how to spell that. Oh my gosh, Antigua. Well, there's an Antigua. It's an island in Antigua and Barbuda. Barbuda? I've never heard of Barbuda either. I'm not the best with geography. But yeah, there there is Antigua. Oh wow. So if you know anything about that or gosh looks like a beautiful place um yeah let me know <laughs> that's pretty cool there's also antiqua apartments in wilmington north carolina oh my gosh so you could be from 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 wilmington 
North Carolina, if you are, hello. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. That's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. All right. Um, also, you could really have an affiliation or a love for Egyptian culture because I am seeing Set. It kind of reminds me of Egyptian culture. I was hearing um, Zaid or Zayden for like a name as well. Zane, a Z name for a name coming through here. I think that's it as far as stuff that I'm getting. But yeah, like let me know if if any of this is is resonating with you and if you're enjoying it. And please let me know by leaving a comment. Um, if you need a personal reading, I do offer those. So just, you can look in my description box below for more information about how to get a personal reading with me. My prices are really affordable. And you can visit my website, www.mysticrosepsychic.com. There's a link for that in my description box below as well. Also, I have a Patreon. You can find a link for that in my description box below as well. I have five different tier levels. It's as low as $3 a month and it goes up from there with the package levels. But I do two pick a cards a week. Some are very spicy, like very, very spicy and fun. And they're 18 plus uncensored. And some are just like based on general topics like love, beauty, gossip, or very deeply spiritual things. Last week, um, I did for my 18 plus spicy on there, um, that spicy reading, I did uh, what turns them on about you. And then for my general, um, I did the topic of your life one year from now, what will it look like? So I do all kinds of fun topics on there. So just check it out and feel free to join. I'd love to see you on over there. And uh, if you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. It does help me to buy things for the channel, such as tea light candles tarot cards, oracle cards, etc. Okay, but it's never expected, but always appreciated. And if you'd like to, you can find more info in my description box on how to how to do that. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to my channel members who support this channel monetarily. And thank you so much to my Patreon members, my current subscribers and any new subscribers. And thank you to my viewers. I really appreciate you all being here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this video. Take good care and stay beautiful. And until next time, bye.